Now, details of his death are not clear. We do know that Thomas had been dealing with some health issues in recent months. Broncos insider Mike Kliss says recently Thomas had experienced some seizures. As, Bronco, as a, a Bronco, Thomas made five consecutive Pro Bowl appearances. He was also a member, as we mentioned, of that uh, Super Bowl 50 championship team. He caught 63 career touchdown passes. The Broncos were set to honor Thomas, the home opener, back in September. That was postponed because of his health issues. Many are remembering Thomas this morning on social media. Peyton Manning released a statement on Twitter saying, DT was a better person than he was player and he was a Hall of Fame player. He was there every time the teammate had a charity event. Peyton went on to say that he just talked to uh, Thomas on Tuesday about a touchdown audible that they called in Arizona back in 2014. Many other Broncos players are sharing their memories too. Kicker Brandon McManus says that this is who my friend was, always smiling. Linebacker Brandon Marshall shared this photo saying, love you forever. And offensive lineman Garrett Bowles also posted a picture saying that it was an honor to play with DT. Thank you always for believing in me. Tim Tebow posted that he woke up and saw the news saying, so many are going to remember him for his athletic ability, but I'll remember him for his kindness and his smile that would light up a room. Many people across Broncos country feeling that loss today. We are seeing hundreds and hundreds of comments on social media. Many of you sharing pictures that you took with DT too. He was always out there. He was always available to the fans. Oh, he was so great to fans. Always made time for him. And I love what Tim Tebow said about his smile because his smile really would light up a room. He had a great smile. Yep, absolutely. Joining us for a look back on Thomas's career now is Mike Kliss. And Mike, you're also learning more about the medical issues that he's been dealing with. Yes, uh, I had known for some time that he was dealing with health issues. I, I never dug too deep on, on what those were. Uh, yesterday after his passing and talking to a lot of people, uh, you know, he had um, some seizures. Uh, you know, he might have dealt with some other. I know a couple of teammates uh, talked about how he struggled with the post career as as so many of these elite athletes do you know once once the cheering stops uh, it, it's a tough transition into the uh, quote unquote regular world for some of them but uh, yes he was suffering from seizures I don't know if that uh, you know I think it's premature uh, you know they need an autopsy report to find out if that was the cause of his death I was hearing something else medically that may have uh, caused it but Regardless, guys, it, it's just stunning uh, to so many people. Here was some, somebody so physically gifted. I mean, the combination that he had of size and speed and strength. I mean, he was a one of a kind on a football field. The NFL's got all kinds of great players. DT was one of the top five players in the league for about five years. And when a guy uh, that athletically gifted and that young uh, dies uh, so early, it's just shocking to everyone. And what he had to overcome as yeah. well. I mean, his, his background really is incredible that he just did so much. Yeah. You know. Yeah, his, his talent, his personal story, the whole thing with his mom getting released yeah. from prison and how emotional he was about that. It, it, it just, uh, yeah. he was a special player, that's for sure. Okay, Mike, thanks. We'll check back with you in a little bit.